Well, today is Wednesday, August 19th, and we are going to have a new class today. According to our lesson plan, today's class is going to cover a very interesting topic. Because today we are going to use questions like, what time? Okay. We are going to be talking about Kesho. Very interesting. Don't you think? So it's going to be good. Let's see the settings for this class. Okay, okay, okay. Microphone. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay, that's better. So we're just trying out the, the microphone. And we are ready to start. So let's call the people. Let's remind the students that we are here. And there's the first one, there's Jenny, great. Hello, Jenny, how are you? I don't hear you. Hello, teacher, sorry. How are you? Fine. Great, excellent. So, how's everything, Jenny? How are you Perdón? today? How was your schedule this day? Uh, schedule? 
Um, today uh, I go to the. I went. My work. I went to my work. Okay. In the afternoon. Really? Yes. And what did you do there? I do in a. Um, llevé a archivar unos documentos. Okay, file. That's the verb, file. Okay. I went to file some documents. Okay, I went to file uh, documents. 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 Okay, great, great. Ready for today? By the way, I have you in my agenda for later. Okay. If you have any extra question, uh, there's 10 minutes for you at 10 already. 10 exactly. Si tiene alguna pregunta extra, tengo 10 minutos para usted de 10 a la 10 con 10. Okay, okay. Sure. Sure. So if you have any question, remember there's a, they send you the other the other ID. Les enviaron el otro ID de la sesión privada ahora. Sí, lo recibí. Okay, perfect. So I if you want, if you need anything, I will be there. Si necesita algo, ahí voy a estar. So, let's see, everybody. Perdón que casi no le escucho, teacher. Really? What about now? Okay, Better? okay ahorita sí. Better? Mejor, oh. better. Okay, you listen to me better now? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. It's the microphone. Let's see. I send a message to everybody. And they haven't read it yet. And it's time already. Ya es la hora. I wonder ouch, where everybody is right now. They got lost. Me han perdido hoy. Okay, teacher. Uh, <clears throat> este, what, how many in the class? Enroll. In total? In total? In total? The total were 20. 20. Okay. Yes, but you know, some, some didn't appear. Algunos no se me aparecieron. Never. Uh, O sea, en todo el curso. Yes. Mm. Some never showed sí. up. They didn't show up. But ¿Quién más se ha conectado? Ya se conectaron más. No, no right now just you. Just, Solo just yo. Me and you. <laughs> We're going to have a long conversation today. Yeah. <laughs> ya no vamos a usar los diez de después. Ah, uh, you won't need them. Este, I am tomorrow. Uh, I go to the hospital with my husband in the early. Very early. Uh, very early. Uh, five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. Ouch. Uh -huh. Porque so you need to go to rest. Yes, yes. I can understand that. Because uh, I go uh, to Santa Ana. All the way to Santa Ana. Okay. All the way to Santa Ana. Here in Spanish, All we the say, way. in Spanish we say here in El Salvador, voy hasta Santa Ana. In this case, okay. it will be all the way to Santa Ana. All the way to Santa Ana. Yeah, you have to travel all the way to Santa Ana. Ouch. That's a, and you drive. Uh, yes. Sí. Uh, in my car. Uh -huh. It's stressful. Sí, sí cansado. cansado. Yeah, tiring. Sí. Look, there's Andres. Hello, Andres. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good evening. And you? Uh, here, here, waiting for everybody to connect. There's Ileana connecting already. Okay, now I am happy. I got three. 
Three is a bunch. Tres son multitud. I am no understand. I got, <laughs> I got three students right now. Now, can you hear me? Ahora me oye? Yes. Okay. I got Pero three. <laughs> ah, okay. I got three students and I said that, I said that three is a bunch. A bunch? What? Multitude, montón. Uh, who, who we are? Oh, there's, uh, well, right now there's Vicente, Cesar, Ileana, Andres, and Jenny. So okay. everybody's connecting right now. Okay. Okay. And I am trying to get a better signal. Let's see. Yes, it increased my signal. I made a few, a few fixings here, and now I got better signal, I guess. So, Cesar, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, everybody. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. I am fine. How are you, Cesar? Fine, fine, fine too. Okay, and great. Uh, uh, I have a good day. A oh, good yeah. day. Oh, that's good. That's good to have a good attitude and to have a good day at the same time. Excellent. Hey, yes. Yes. look, there's Vicente. Hello, Vicente. How are you? Vicente. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello, Vicente. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. How, are, how are you tonight? Very good. Okay, excellent. Ready for the class? Yes. Ready. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ileana, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Very good. Okay, that's the attitude. Very good. Mayra, hi. How are you? I'm fine. A little tired. Tired, yeah. That happens. It's, it's the middle of the week. Estamos a la mitad de la semana. It can be tiresome. Hey, there's Ana. Ana, hello. Hello. We were. We, hello. Hello. We were you yesterday, Ana. La extrañamos ayer. Ana went, <laughs> Ana went paring yesterday. Había mucha lluvia. You know, she skipped class. Ana. Skipped. She skipped class. Sí, es, es. Se sabe okay. okay. Erika, hello, Erika. Hello, teacher. How are you? Better? Ya mejor? Mm, because um sick. Oh, you're sick. Ouch. But you're here and that's important. Okay. Okay. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you here. So let's see. Let's remember, guys. Uh, let me see. Just give me a second. I am fixing something. Okay. Well, guys, uh, today we are going to work with schedules. 
We are going to be working with schedules. As I told you, we are going to be working with schedules and, and that's going to be interesting because we are going to be using the expression, what time? Also, we are going to be working a little bit with how often, cuan a menudo, okay? Like imagine that I ask uh, Jenny, Jenny, how often do you have meetings? I don't hear you. At 10 o'clock, my meeting. But when I ask you how often, I am asking cuan a menudo. Ah, okay. Este, uh, once uh, week. a once week. A week, perfect. Uh -huh. Remember guys, the question, how often, how often? cuan a menudo, how often? Okay, like, uh, let's see, Cesar, how often do you check your emails during the day? Oh, uh, 10, 10 times for the day. <laughs> On a day. So you could say yes. that you check your email all day long. All day long. All day long. That means yes. durante todo el día. All day long. It means a lo largo del día o durante todo el día. Okay? All day long. Uh, the same happens to me. In my case, I am checking the... Uh, mostly the social media, like the chats. WhatsApp, I am checking WhatsApp constantly. I have to check the WhatsApp constantly all during the day. Because in my case, it's important to be checking what my students are saying. Let's see, Vicente. Hello, Vicente. Hello. Tell me, tell me, Vicente, this is personal. How often do you go to the movies? Movies. Yes. Al uh, cine. Uh, al cine. Not regularly. Uh, not, not regularly. One or yes, he not said regularly, not regularly, perhaps once a month or once every two months, once a uh, two months, once every two months okay. should be like this once every two months what about you jenny how often do you go to the movies uh, i i like very uh, what's movie as yes Okay, but when I ask you twice, twice, okay. twice a month, uh, twice a uh, cada or oh, every Saturday, every Saturday. Okay, that's the uh -huh. answer. Every Saturday. Wow, that's great. Sí, me gusta mucho ver películas ir al cine cuando. Excellent, excellent. Se congeló la pan, se congeló, teacher, ya no hay. Yeah, the signal is, the signal is giving me problems right now. Let's see, Cesar, what about you? How often do you go to the movies? Mm. 
Yeah, okay, I I go to the movies at every month. In the uh, at the theaters. You can just say I go to the movies like that. Okay, yes. no problem. When you say, I go to the movies, you are saying, voy al cine. Okay? Okay. I go to the movies. Okay. Yeah. Like if I tell you, hey, Cesar, uh, let's take our families to the movies. I am saying, llevemos a las familias al cine. Okay? So when you say, go to the movies, you mean, ir al cine. Okay? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Tell me, Jennifer, do you go to the movies? Yes, I go to the movies with my daughter. How often do you go to the movies? Sorry? How often do you go to the movies? Yes, it's often. ¿Cuán a menudo? Uh, why? Una vez al mes, ¿cómo se dice? Once a month. Once a month. Ok, great. Let's see. Uh, Vicente, tell me, how often do you shave? I don't shave. No, Vicente, Vicente. Ah, sorry. Uh, I take... Uh... Once every week. Once a week. Hmm, okay. A week. Once a week. Perfect. What about you, Carlos? How often do you shave? Cada cuánto me resuro, ¿verdad? Yes. You say, I shave You say, I shave uh, one a week. Once a week. Once a week. Cool. What about you, Andres? You got, a, you got a big mustache and beard. Tell me, how often do you shave? Um... That's the the, the quarantine and not train. You don't shave during the quarantine. No. Cool. What about you, Cesar? How often do you shave? Uh, I shave uh, every day. Every day. Wow. Every day. I hate I that. I don't. I don't like the bird. Muy larga. ¿Cómo se dice? Long. I don't long. like it. Long. 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 Right. It yes. itches. It itches. Okay. Pica. Yes. <laughs> it itches. Uh, it itches. Yeah, that happens. That happens. In my case, I have I have to shave every day, but I don't like it. So I shave like every two or every three days. Because, I mean, I shaved last night and right now it's, it scratches. In my case, right now, it scratches. Raspa, scratches, okay? So in my case, right now, it scratches. So I should shave. Well, let's see. You see, when we use the, that expression, how often you can use it to many different things. Let's work a little bit with that. Let's see. Okay, we are going to work with how often do you and let's see who do I have here okay 
Just give me a second so I can see everybody who's connected. Let's see. The answers could be every day, once a day, twice a day, once a month, once a year. These are examples, okay? So let's see. Uh, Vicente, tell me, how often do you go to the park? I go to the park once a month. Okay. Now, Vicente, please ask one of your classmates any of these questions, any of the one in red. Pregúnteles cualquiera de las okay. que rojo. Okay? Okay. Uh, Andrés. Hi, Vicente. How often play soccer? How often do you? How often do you play soccer? Perfect. Uh, I am not play soccer. I don't. I don't play soccer. Perfect. Andres, please. Thank you, Vicente. Andres, please ask one mm -hmm. of your classmates. The Eliana. Okay, Eliana. Hi. How do you how of how often is uh, study English? Do you study English? Do you study English? I I I study every day. Every night. I study English every night. I study English every night. Perfect. Eliana, please ask somebody from the class. Oh, Vicente. No, 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 no. Somebody who has not participated. Alguien que no me ha participado, okay? Oh. There's Erica, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny, okay, Jenny. How often go to the park? I go to the park uh, once a month. Okay, thank you. Jenny, please. Okay. Thank you, Eliana. Jenny, choose one of your classmates. Uh, Jennifer? Hello. Uh, how often do you buy clothes? Buy clothes. Ropa. Black. Uh -huh. I buy for one, one a month. Once, Once a month. Perfect. Month. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Jennifer, please. Ask one of your classmates. Cesar? Okay, Cesar. Cesar, what well, often do you exercise? Ooh, Cesar, how often do you exercise? <laughs> uh, once a week. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Jennifer. Cesar, pick one of your classmates. Uh, There's Anna, Anna, Erica. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see who else, who else, who else. Mm. Okay. Carlos. Anna. Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna. Anna, how often do you eat in a restaurant? Okay, how often do you eat in a restaurant, Anna? Please activate your microphone. No la oímos. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, me escucha. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I eat in a restaurant. I, I, am. Uh, I eat. Uh, I eat. I eat. <laughs> um, and no. Um, once. One. Um. Once a month. Once a month. Perfect. Anna, please ask. <laughs> let's see who's missing. Ask Erica. One of the questions. Okay. How okay. often? Okay, Erica. How often do you uh, do you the the park? Go to the park. Go to the park. Erica. Okay. Um 
I go to the park on um, the weekend. What? On weekend. Once a week. Oh, on weekends. Once a, on on weekends. weekends. Perfect. Thank you. Now, thank you, Anna. Erika, please ask, uh, let's see, Carlos. Hello. How often do you uh, watch TV, Carlos? Every day. I watch TV. I watch TV. Every day. Every day. day. I watch TV every day. Okay, thank you. Who's missing? Carlos, ask Mayra, please. How often go, go to the movies? Mayra. How often do you go to the movies? Do you go to the I, movies, Mayra? I go to the movies once a month. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for your participation. So you see, to us, to make this exercise is very simple. Now, you see, we got expressions like uh, play soccer, buy clothes. You can also say always, usually, sometimes, never. También podemos usar estas expresiones. Always, usually, sometimes, never. Okay, there are common places. You can use them all the time, anytime. Usted puede utilizarlas. Always means siempre, usually, usualmente, sometimes, a veces, never, nunca. These are adverbs of frequency and they are used with simple present because they help us to express how frequently something happens. Okay? Those adverbs are used to express how frequently something happens. But today we are going to work with schedules. In this case, when we are talking about schedules, we are not talking mostly about the frequency. We need to be exact. Like, uh, okay, let's see, Cesar, tell me your schedule on a regular Monday morning. Since you arrived to your job, okay? Okay, uh, well, okay, Monday I wake, wake up at uh, 6 a.m. Okay. I go to my work uh, at 7.45. Perfect. I start my activities in my work at 8 a.m. Great. I... I read the emails. I read. I read. Oh, well, in uh, this case, you can say, I check. I check. I check okay. my email. I check my emails at uh, 8, 8 30. Okay. 8.30. Around 8.30. Around, around. And I, I go to visit my clients at 9, 9 a.m. Okay. And return at my office at uh, 12. 12. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice el mediodía? Noon. Noon. Yes. N -O -O -N. N -O -O -N. N-O-O-N. You can just say at noon. 12 noon. 12 at noon. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cesar. You can just say at noon, puede decir simplemente at noon y está diciendo al mediodía. Ah, ok. Ok. If you say at 12, you are being specific. Ok. But you okay. can also say at noon. That's okay, at noon. al mediodía. En medianoche es midnight. Midnight, yes. Ok. So, noon, mediodía. Uh, do you remember afternoon? One ah, okay. in the afternoon. It afternoon. means una after, después de. Pasada al mediodía. Exactly. So, okay. if you say noon, it means mediodía. Thank you, Cesar. You are very kind. Okay. So, that's, okay, that's what we are going to be working. Don't worry that you guys will do that also. 
today for the end of the class, you are going to talk to me and to the rest of the class about your schedule. Al finalizar la clase, before we finish the class, you are going to do it. Todos lo vamos a hacer. We are going to talk about our schedule on any given day. On cualquier día. You are going to choose to pick the day. Ustedes escogerán qué día. But everybody's going to do it. So let's change right now. I'm going to show you something. Let me see. I just need to close this and I'm going to show you right now here. Okay. On your manuals on page 33, página 33, we got here Mrs. Robles' agenda. Okay, look. At 7.15, she has meeting with the marketing department. Let me make it a little bit bigger. That way everybody can see it better, okay? So, at 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. At 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. At nine, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. One for uh, 12, workshops launch. 145, second part of the workshop. 555, send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Okay, questions about vocabulary from Mrs. Robles' agenda? Preguntas del vocabulario? Teacher. Yes. And leave, ¿qué significa? What? And leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. Salir o irse. Okay. Teacher, y research and development? Research, research and development. Research. Investigación y desarrollo. Ah, okay, sí, sí, cierto. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you know what is a workshop? Workshop, taller. Okay, so le listen again. Meeting with the marketing department. Video call with the supervisor from West Company. Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Workshops launch. Second part of the workshop. Send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Now, look, you can say here, 7.15, or you can say a quarter after seven, okay? You can say a quarter after seven. You can say 8.30 or you can say uh, half past eight. You can say here 1.15, 1.45, or you can say 15 before six, before two. Or in this case, you can say 5.55, or you can say five to six, okay? So, if you got the, the schedule, listen, if you got 5.55, you can say it just like that. You can say 5.55, and it's okay. But you can say 5 to 6. Some people speak like that. Algunos hablamos así, decimos 5 para las 6. Okay? If it is... Uh, one forty-five. You can say one forty-five, and it's okay. Or you can say a quarter to two. Quince a las dos. We can also speak like that, no? We can say 
45 or you can say a quarter to two or a quarter before two, okay? If you got one, 15, you can say a quarter after one. But that's not that common. Ese no es muy común. In Spanish, we say it, that expression, a quarter after one, in Spanish, we say it the other way around. En español la decimos de la otra manera, decimos una y cuarto. But that expression in English is a quarter after one. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Y se puede decir este a one and a quarter. No. No. We don't speak like that. Un y cuarto no. A one and a quarter no. A quarter after one. Es lo que sucede okay. es esto. En español decimos una y cuarto. Pero para decir esa expresión en inglés, usted dice a quarter after one. After one. Okay. A quarter after one. Okay. Y a quarter past one is the same. Es lo mismo. Thank you, Cesar. Yes, we can say it like that. Che, a yeah, quarter. Then and seven. Tell me. A quarter. A quarter and seven. A quarter after. No lo entiendo. En el de las siete y cuarto. Ah. Uh, 7.15 or a quarter past seven, a quarter after seven. You can use both after or past, it's the same. Okay? Both are okay and they are completely correct. Any question? No? Okay, cool. Now, uh, let me share with you again a little screen so we can start working on the activities. Let's see. Look, we have the expressions. What time? What time is it? It's 1.08. Or it's 8 past 1 or 8 after 1. Okay, what time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. That expression, o'clock, means en punto. Okay? 11 o'clock means en punto. But you can also say 11 sharp. Eleven sharp. Some people speak like that. Algunas personas hablan así. They say eleven sharp. It doesn't make that much sense. No tendrá quizás mucho sentido para nosotros. Because sharp refers to uh, filo. Okay? Something sharp es algo filudo. But some people say like that. Eleven sharp. In some areas of the United States, people will say 11 sharp instead of saying 11 o'clock. But it's exactly the same. You say 11 o'clock and everybody understands that. And it's completely accepted and completely correct. Okay? Let's continue. Any question? Alguna pregunta? No? Good. Okay. What time do you arrive at work? At 6.48 a.m. Or you can say about 6.48 a.m. At is specific. When you use at, you are being specific. Remember that if you say at, you are specific with the time like uh, every day i arrive to my job five 
5 to 7. I arrive to my job at 5 to 7. I sign in at 7 o'clock. Okay? Now, I will give you something that is a modicum. Look at this expression, on the nick of time. That's a modism. Eso es un modismo. Es como cuando decimos, uh, I arrived to my job today on the nick of the hour. En el límite. On the nick of the hour. En el límite de la hora. That's a modism. Eso es un modismo. Some dictionaries won't translate that for you. Algunos diccionarios no se lo van a traducir. Because that's uh, everyday speaking. Okay? But some people use it. Well, let's continue. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay. Now, guys, let's see. Let me see. Perfect. Right now, we are going to do a small exercise. I want you to please start asking questions to each other, okay? You are going to start asking questions to each other using the expression, what time? But we are going to do, to do it in pairs in the breakout rooms. What, what are going to be the questions? The questions are going to be very simple, okay? What time do you start working? What time, or it could be, what time do you arrive to your job? Uh, do you remember when Cesar was explaining his schedule? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you have meetings on Monday? What time uh, do you go to visit your clients? Like in the case of the ones who have to go or talk to clients like Vicente. Or what time do you make your supervision? You see, that's what I want you to do. Okay, right now we are going to be divided. We are going to go to the breakout room. And I want everybody to start asking those questions. At least four questions. Let's do it. We are going to have two minutes and I'm going to be jumping from room to room, checking out that you are doing it. After that, we come back here and we are going to share questions and answers, but not with the person we were working. We are going to throw the question to somebody else. Okay, ready? Great, I'm going to divide you right in this moment. Okay, let's see. See, everybody's connecting. Erica, get in the group, please. Mayra, please get into the group. If you have any problem, let me know. Okay, Erica already did it. Just Mayra. I have this to start um eight um, o'clock. At okay. eight o'clock. At remember at at eight o'clock. Okay. What time do you check your emails? Um every day. <laughs> All day long. All day long. All day long. Okay. 
Uh, what time are uh, you going I'm, to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jenny. Okay. Perhaps as this is a big group, you can make two questions to Andres, to, to Ileana, okay. to Carlos, okay. to Erika, so we can share and everybody can participate, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, Ileana. Joanna, what time take, uh, what time do you take a lunch? What, what time? Um, ¿A qué, qué hora es mi? Sí, ¿a qué hora es mi almuerzo? Um, eh, ok. Hay, ¿Cómo se dice entre? Porque no tengo una hora específica. Around, around, or between. Around, around. One, 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 around, one, ¿cómo se dice? Doce. Twelve. 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 Well, eh, around, well, well, uh, one, four, five, entre esas dos horas. Okay, and you, Mayra, what time do you take a lunch? I have a lunch uh, 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay. Okay. Otra pregunta? Ah. Uh, yes. Vicente, le pregunto a Vicente. Vicente, do you like morning? Morning. One. Eh, una vez a la semana, ¿cómo sería? Una vez por semana. Once, once a, a week. week. Once. A week. Once. ¿Ah? Once. once a week. One. One time a week. Once. 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 Lo decimos. Once. Una vez a la semana decimos once. Y se escribe once. Oh. Once. Okay. Once a week. ok, hoy, hoy yo te pregunto, okay. eh, Andrés, este, ¿cuántas veces do you come, come and eat? ¿Cuántas uh -huh. do you come, come in? Come in. ¿A qué hora vienes? Where? ¿A dónde? Uh, where, 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 where. Oh, get in. What time entro? do you get in? ¿A qué hora entro al trabajo? Yes. Sí. I am in at 8 o'clock. Uh, 8.30. No, 8 o'clock. 8 en punto. 8 en punto. Eh, sí. Regular that, uh, that transporte tipo 9 o'clock. <laughs> Due to transportation, due to or because of the transportation. Okay. The because the transportation, the in the nine o'clock. Okay. Jenny. Hello. What time do, do you watch television? Uh, I watch TV at um, every night. 
No, every, every night. Erika. Hola. What time do you leave work? Uh, I leave work um, um, 7 a.m. Mm, leave work means sale de. Ah, sorry. Um, why Terry? Erika, that's question. Okay. Um, Jenny, what time do, do you get up? I get up uh, at 6 a.m. Okay. Andres, what time do you have a lunch? Uh, I lunch at 12 p.m. Okay. Um, Ileana, what time do you go to work? Uh, work at uh, 8 a.m. Carlos, what time do you have a breakfast? No sé qué breakfast. Desayuno. Desayuno, quiero desayuno. Eh, mm -hmm. eh, six o'clock. Ok. Eh, Jenny, este, ¿cuál está ahí? Ads a lunch. I, I have a lunch at. Eh, at twelve thirty. Okay. So I guess you're finished already. Creo que terminamos, verdad? Yeah. Okay. okay, let's get out of here. Let me just Okay, in one minute, the session is going to finish right here. Everybody's coming back. Okay, let's see if everybody's here. Okay, yes, everybody's here. So let's see, Cesar, please, I want you to ask uh, two questions using what time to Ileana. Okay. Okay, Ileana. Hi, Cesar. Say me, what time do you start at work? What time do you start working? Working. Okay. okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everybody. I will make just to clarify something. Solamente voy a aclarar algo. Whenever we use the verb start, 
siempre que utilicemos el verb start, después de él, el verbo que pongamos, le vamos a poner ing. ¿Ok? Like, start, start uh, working, start dancing, start writing, start reading. ¿Ok? Whenever you use start, the next verb comes in ing. Siempre que utilizamos start, el verbo que viene a continuación le vamos a poner ing, ¿ok? Ok, excelente. Thanks. Ok, Liana, what time do you start a working? Uh, uh, a a.m. A.m. Ah, ok. And what time do you take a lunch? Is, is at noon. At noon. Ok, excellent. Thanks. Ok, thank you, Ileana. Please ask a question to Andres. Two questions, please. Andres, what time do you leave work? Um... I'm leaving at six o'clock. Okay. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you. Andres, please ask Vicente. Vicente, hi. Hi. What time uh, drink coffee? What time do you? What, what time do you drink coffee? I drink coffee at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 uh, p.m., and okay. 8 p.m. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> right, nice. Excellent. Very good, very good. <laughs> Vicente, please ask Mayra. Okay. Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Hello. What time do you wake up on Sunday? I wake up at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. What? Okay. You wake up at 10 a.m. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> We hate you, you know, right have now. children. We hate you right now. Ahorita no nos agrada. No. Yeah. At 10 a.m. Great. Excellent. Vicente, another question for Mayra, just for that. Solo por eso hágale otra pregunta. Okay. What time oh, do you no. take <laughs> breakfast? Okay, Mayra, what time do you take breakfast? Breakfast. Uh, I break, I take a breakfast at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Mayra, please, you. as Jenny. Okay. Jenny, what time do you have the homework? What time do you do? What time do you do the homework? homework? Okay. Jenny. Hello, teacher. Hello, Daniel. I have homework at 5 p.m. Okay, perfect. I do the homework at five. I do the homework. Okay, okay thank you. Please, uh, please, uh, Jenny, ask um, Erica. Okay, Erica. What time do you phone call Hi. your clients? What time do you call your clients? What time do you call your clients? Eh, ¿Qué es clientes. Ah, clientes? ¿A qué hora es limpio? 
No, clientes, ¿a qué hora llamas? Do you call? What time do you call your client? I call on nine a.m. I call my clients. I call my I call my clients nine a.m. At Remember always, when you say the specific hour, recuérdense, cuando decimos la hora específica, le anteponemos el at, ¿ok? Always, okay. we do that. Now, let's see, eh, Carlos, ask uh, Ana. Ana, eh, what time do you live? What time do you live your job? What time do you do you leave your job? Your job. Perfect. ¿A qué hora sales a trabajar? I eh, I leave my job. I leave I leave my job six. At six. At six. At six. At six. Perfect. Now let's see. Sister, tell me, what time do you? What time do you watch TV with your daughter? Okay, I, I watch TV at 10 p.m. Okay. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And Jennifer is like, mm -mm. <laughs> with My you? daughter is asleep 10 p.m. Uh, she she is asleep with watch, watching TV. Oh, she goes to sleep. <laughs> She goes, she goes to, to sleep. She goes to sleep. Watching TV. Watching TV. Yeah, the TV is the, the diazepam of the kid. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can understand that. Let's see, Vicente. Hello. Tell me, what time do you feed? What time do you feed your pets? Feed. 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 Alimentar. Feed. Oh, I feed my pet at 8 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. Oh, three times a day? <laughs> yes. Mm, wow. He's very dedicated to the pets. That's good. Let's see. Ileana, tell me. Yes, teacher. What time do you make up? At 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Okay. Do you know that word, guys? ¿Conocemos esa palabra? I ask her. I will type it for you. I ask her, what time do you make up? Make up. Maquillar. What time do you make up? Exactly make? that. ¿A qué hora se maquilla? Okay. Okay. But that verb, make up, make. can have a different meaning. Puede tener un significado diferente. We... Look, the other meaning it can have is this. El otro significado que puede tener es este. Uh, listen, uh, Cesar, I'm sorry that I imagine that Cesar makes a favor to me and he lets me hear his car. Cesar me hace un favor y me presta su auto. But I have to bring it uh, at seven. Tenía que hacerlo a las siete. Because he needs to go to work. Él tiene que ir a trabajar. And I arrive at 8 a.m. Llego a las 8 de la mañana. I tell, tell him, hey, Cesar, I am so sorry. Lo lamento mucho. But don't worry. I will make it up to you. When I say, I will make it up or I will make up for you. I will make it up to you. En este caso, divido el verbo. What I mean is, 
lo compensaré. To make up for o to make up to quiere decir compensar. Si le agregamos esa palabrita al final, el to o for está compensando. Ok. Just that little word. After it, change the verb. Solo esa palabrita. Después le cambió el verbo. Ok. Ok, let's see. Let's continue. Erika, tell me. What time do you shower every day? Um, I shower. Um, I take a shower. Uh, I take a shower. Um, six. Um, what? At six o'clock. Yes. Are you sure? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she goes like. Oh. Okay. Let's see, Jennifer. <laughs> Tell me, what time do you, what time do you shower your daughter? Um, my daughter take a shower 3 p.m. At 3 p.m.? Yes. Okay. How old is your daughter? ¿Qué significa old? ¿Cuántos años? How old? Uh, oh. How old? My daughter has five years old. Is five years old. Is five. Okay, thank you. Let's see, uh, Daniel. Sure. Tell me, Daniel, what time do you go to sleep? I study at nine a.m. Nine p.m. But. We finish class at 10. What time do you go to sleep for real? At 1? At 11? At, at 1 p.m. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Um, Jenny, what time do you prepare your husband's dinner? I have prepared dinner at my husband at uh, 6.30. Okay, listen to the question. What time do you prepare dinner for your husband? In this case, you should answer. I prepare dinner for my husband at 6.30. Okay? Okay, okay. I prepare dinner for my husband at 6.30. Okay, I prepare, I prepare dinner for my husband, for, for my husband at 6.30. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we are talking about the schedule and we are making a lot of questions. Let's see, Carlos, tell me, what time do you go to sleep? What time do you go to sleep? Uh, Yes, 30. At 10.30. At 10.30. Okay, perfect. Who disconnect? ¿Quién se me desconectó? Nobody? My screen changed. Let's get the attendance before anything else. Now that I remember. Ahora que recordé. Let's see, Carlos. Present. Perfect. Mayra. Mayra Ileana Corleto. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios. Ana Maria Disconnect. Uh, Maybelline Michelle Martinez. Not here. Erika del Carmen Colocho. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thanks. Jose Reinaldo Sandoval. No, here. Claudia Patricia Granados. No here yet. And Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you. Cesar Humberto Lopez Moreno. Present. Okay. Jenny Lisette Escobar de Orellana. Present. 
Thank you. Uh, Vicente Alexander Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo Montes Medrano. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Present. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Perfect. Marcos Iván Martinez Garcia. Hmm, no here. Maybelline Janira Aguilar de Rodesno. No here either. Carla Yvonne Bolaños. Hmm, no here. Julio Alonso Durán. No here. Okay, perfect. Let's see. I guess somebody's missing. Okay. Well, let's continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see who's missing, who's missing, who's missing. Jennifer Wesso, tell me. What time do you finish working? I finish work 5 p.m. I finish working at 5 p.m. I start at 5 p.m. Okay, perfect. And tell me, Jennifer, at what time do you arrive to your house? At uh, 5.30. I am arriving at my house at 5.30. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Jennifer. Mayra. Uh, what time do you check your emails? I I check email at eight thirty. Okay. A.M. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And tell me, mm -hmm. at what time do you have lunch? I I have I take lunch. Um, 12. At 12 o'clock? PM. Oh, PM. Yeah, yes, yeah, PM. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Cesar, tell me. Okay, yes. tell me, Cesar. What time do you usually take your afternoon coffee? Okay. Okay. Uh, I usually usually take my coffee at 3 p.m. Usually. Usually. Okay. So you have a break? Uh, no, but I take my coffee uh, during the ¿cómo se dice? tiempo libre. Un... Free time. Free time. Okay. Excellent. What about you, Andres? What time do you have? What time do you have break in your job? Uh, I have break in my job at four p.m. Okay. That I take drink coffee. Okay, cool. Oh. What about you, Eliana? What time do you usually have your break time? My breakfast, night. Break time, break time, receso. How do you say, cuando se puede? Okay, whenever it is possible. Whenever it is possible. Whenever it is possible, okay. I just texted it to, for you, whenever it is possible. Okay? Whenever it is possible. Yeah, that happens in some jobs. You take it whenever you can. Okay, guys, now, right now you are going to create a conversation, okay? I'm going to take you, to, to take you out to the breakout rooms and you are going to create a conversation. But before we do that, 
antes de que hagamos eso, because that's going to be the last, the last activity of today. Before we do that, we are going to check one of the exercises from your manual. We are going to go in the manual to page number 34, where some conversations are modeled. We are going to practice those conversations, then we are going to role play them here, but at the end of the class, you will create a short conversation. Al final de la clase, ustedes van a crear una pequeña conversación. Similar to the ones that we are going to practice right now. Parecidas las que vamos a practicar en este momento. Okay? I'm just letting you know so you are like ready. So let's see. Let me share with you. It is where it is, where it is, right here. Okay. Look, we have here five conversations. The first one says, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? Now, what could be the, the, the missing part? What is the missing part? What is the part that we falta acá? What time does? What time does it start? Perfect, start. Jenny. Thank you. What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Perfect. Excellent. Now, let's see. Uh, number two. Jennifer, tell me. Number two says, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? Perfect. What time do you arrive? Arrive. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Now, let's see number three. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Cesar, please help me. What time do you the photocopy center open? Okay. What time does As, uh, what time does the photocopy center open? Es, el sujeto en este caso es todo esto, mire. The photocopy center. Pero es algo okay. singular. So it. Okay? okay. What does okay. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Okay, number four. Erika, are you around? Anda por ahí, Erika? Okay. Wendy, yeah. do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but... What day does? Mm, in this case, look, we have S plural. What time do... Cannot do. Perfect. What time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Okay. Now, let's see. Vicente, number five. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And? What time do they Perfect. open? Perfect. Excellent. What time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Now, listen. I'm going to repeat the pronunciation. I need you to please listen to the pronunciation because we are going to work with that. Listen. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's see. Uh, Cesar and Jennifer, please. Cesar, you are letter A. Jennifer is letter Jenny. I'm sorry, Jenny is letter B. Okay, Jenny. Uh, there is a recruitment of the of new employees on Tuesday. Jenny. Jenny tiene el micrófono apagado. Sorry, sorry. Repítalo, César. Okay. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. 
perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Listen, right now, number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Let's see. Carlos and Jennifer. Carlos, you are letter A. Jennifer, you are letter B. Okay, Jennifer. Uh, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Wednesday. What was they? Great. What time do you arrive? Carlos? Uh, at a, a 15 a.m. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, number three. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center? What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6:50 a.m. Now let's see. This is going to be for Andres and Iliana, number three. Andres, you are letter A. Iliana is letter B. Indiana. <laughs> Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What, what time does the photocopy center open? It's open at 6.15 a.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Just remember something. In this case, the letter T does not have sound. En este caso, la letra T no tiene sonido. Center. Center. I have to go to the photocopy center. Okay? Now, let's see. Number four. Number four. Let's see. Who has not participated right now? Hmm. Mayra. Mayra and Daniel. Okay? Okay. Listen, listen, just listen. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Okay, Daniel, you are letter A. Mayra, you are letter B. Okay. Okay. Wendy, what do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7 .25. Okay, 7.25 p.m. Okay, who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Hmm. Who has not participated? Tengo dos personas que no me han participado. Or three? Let's see. Andres participated already? Yes? Yes. Okay. Cesar, yes. Daniel, yes. Erika, yes. Me. Eliana. Erika. Me not participated. Oh, Vicente, you have me. not. Yes. And Ana. Just connecting. Okay, let's see. Uh, Vicente and Erica. Number five. Okay. Listen. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Please, Erica, you are letter A. Vicente, you are letter B. Okay. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 5.30 or 8.00 fine. 
730. 7.30 or 8.5. Perfect. Now remember guys, departments, departments. Again, the first T, no sound, okay? Departments, okay, very well. Now guys, listen, I will read once again. There is a recruitment, listen, recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Okay, guys. As you see, the conversations are very simple. And we today we were doing a different type of exercise. We don't usually do it like this. But it's very important for me to listen to you practicing the pronunciation, okay? That's why we are going to keep on doing this type of exercise. En este punto es necesario que yo comience a escuchar un poquito más de su pronunciación so I can help you to improve. Así les puedo ayudar a mejorar. Due to this, we are going to start working like that more often. Debido a eso, vamos a trabajar de esta manera más a menudo. Like, uh, we are going to take like 10, 15 minutes. Nos vamos a tomar 10, 15 minutos to read and repeat, okay? For the repetition, para hacer estos ejercicios de repetición. That way I can identify the mispronunciation and help you out. De esa manera puedo identificar si hay una pronunciación mala o ayudarles, okay? So right now, the activity. Right now is your moment. You are going to create a conversation using what time. What I want to see is you asking each other about your daily schedule. Se van a preguntar unos a otros acerca del daily schedule. It's a conversation, not an interview. Es una conversación, no entrevista. It means that not just one person asking. No es solo una persona preguntando. Ask and answer. Ask and answer. Both person, okay? Ambas personas van a preguntar, ambas personas van a contestar. You ready? Remember, we use what time. Okay, so I am going to recreate the groups. And let's see. Perfect. Let me check out the groups. Let's see. Perfect. Perfect, excellent. Okay, guys, you already asked to get into the groups. I will be moving around. Erika, you have not gone into the group. No me he entrado a la sesión.
Hello. Hello. Hello, Erika. Hola. Hello. Ok. César. Sí, hoy sí, me oí. Hoy sí, lo veo. Ah, ok, ok. Bye. Me entendí que vamos a hacer esta conversación como que fuera de nosotros. Una conversación sí. larga, sí. Crearemos una. Michelle, Hello. A question. Yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, the question the, the conversion conversation is uh, what time uh drink a coffee and what time uh, after watch TV or también vamos a usar el do and that. It can it can be any type of question as long as it has what time. Okay? Cualquier tipo de pregunta about anything. As long as you use what time, that's what matters. Because that's the core um, of today's class. El centro de la clase de ahora es what time. What time. Yes, because okay. we're focused on schedule. No estamos enfocando en horarios. So you can relate it to your work, perhaps. That's easy. Pueden relacionarlo con el trabajo. That. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo se escribe eso, perdón? As no, as no es. No. N-O-O-N. N-O-O-N. At Snow. Ok. At Snow. Ok. 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 Very good, teacher. Remember, yes. it's very simple. It's what time, what time, okay? Like, hey, yeah. Vicente, tell me, uh, what time do you go to work? Because I want to ride. Quiero que me ride. What time do you go to work? Simple, okay? Okay. okay. Practice it, practice it, because you're you are going okay. to perform it in the general room. Me la van a representar en el general room, okay? Okay. okay. What time do you go to your dinner? Something. Dinner. I dinner. I... What time do you eat? Ah. Uh, Breakfast, you... lunch, dinner. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Breakfast, lunch. ¿Cuál de los tres? Breakfast, lunch o dinner. Breakfast es desayuno, lunch, almuerzo, dinner, cena. Ah, ok. Eh, Yo le pregunto a ella, what time do you eat? Lunch. Ok, perfect. What time lunch. do you eat lunch? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿A qué hora almuerza? And Ana answers. Y Ana contesta. I eat lunch at 12, perhaps. Ok. I, what time do you have lunch? Ana, ¿a qué hora almuerza, Ana? I in like, um, I in like one, one forty five. Okay, ouch. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's the answer. Mm -hmm. I eat lunch at one forty five. I eat lunch at one forty five. Perfect. Now, Ana, you have to create questions. Ahora usted le tiene que preguntar a Jenny. What time do you start work? What time do you go home? ¿A qué horas comienza a trabajar? ¿A qué horas va a casa? ¿Ok? Siempre las preguntas comienzan con el what time, que quiere decir a qué horas. A qué horas, ok. I am guitar restaurant. Uh... One time a, a month. Oh, really? Good chico. <laughs> ah, there's money there. He's single. He's single. That's why. Ah, the... ok. Por eso. Yeah, that's yeah, the reason. Hacemos, hacemos la cabuda. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like Mayra. Mayra is single, so no problem. 
Even better, Mayra's got a boyfriend. Mayra tiene novio, so no problem. She was okay. like, oh, I want something. <laughs> He pays. Yeah, he pays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, practice, yes. guys. Practice. What time? What time? What time do, what time do you cook dinner? Ooh. Teacher, is cook or cooking? What time do you cook? Or you can say, you, what time do you prepare dinner? Do you prepare dinner? Okay. Never ask me that. Never. A mí no me pregunte nunca eso. <laughs> I do not cook. Okay. I never Did you cook, cook pupusas, uh, teacher? <laughs> no, actually my wife does. My wife, she can do it. Yes, but do you know, do you know eat pupusas? I do. Otherwise, she strangles me. <laughs> If not, I am okay. in problems. Con, así con cariño cualquiera. ¿eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, continue, guys, continue. Okay, sí, démosle otra vez. Okay, ahora. Okay, the last time. Okay, we're going to finish in one minute, okay? Okay, teacher, thanks. Uh, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What I do does? It starts. It starts at 9 a.m. Let me for the meeting on Wednesday. I am sorry, Cesar. I didn't see your message. No vi su mensaje a tiempo. But don't no worry. Problem. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's see, Jennifer. Please start. Who's your partner? Uh, Carlos, hello. Yeah, Carlos here. Don't worry. Okay. Carlos, what time do you wake up? Uh, repeat, please. What time do you wake up? Do you remember wake up, despertar? Okay. Five. Uh, I wake up. I wake up five thirty. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now. Thanks. And what time do you um take a breakfast? Okay, it's uh, uh, one, ah, it's, you know, it's, yes. it's uh, uh, 6 a.m. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Remember, Carlos, I have breakfast at 6 a.m. We always, at this level, please, Whenever you answer a question, try to do the long answer. Unless, unless you are asked the opposite. En ese nivel, siempre que nos hagan preguntas, a menos que les indique lo contrario, tratemos de contestar con respuestas largas. That helps us to improve. Eso nos va a ayudar a mejorar because you are going to get used to speak in English. Okay? okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Mayra. Please, who's your partner, Mayra? It's Andres. Okay. Um, Hi, 
Liliana. Okay, let's Andres. do it. Okay. Andres, what time do you do? No. What time do you wash dishes? I not uh, significant the dishes. Platos. Ah. Uh, the wish and um, wishes the seven half o'clock. Okay. PM. Okay, 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 okay. That expression it goes like this because she asks at what time do you wash the dishes, no? Wash. Yes, wash. Okay. You can say, Andres. I do the dishes. If you get that expression, I do the dishes, it means lavo los platos. I do the laundry, lavo la ropa, o hago la lavandería, okay? So, Andres says, I do the dishes and the time. Please, continue with the conversation. Okay. Andrés, Mayra, and Liliana. Mayra. Tell me. What, what time and uh, watch TV? I watch TV only uh, Saturday at 5 p.m. Okay. And you, Liliana? What time I watch TV? I watch TV only weekend. Only on weekends. Only on weekend. Okay, look at the chat. What time do you always remember? El what time es parte de la WH. Nunca me va a quitar a mí la obligación de que ponga el auxiliar. Ayer les mencionaba eso. Usamos una WH question, pero siempre va a ir el auxiliar, ¿ok? What time do you, what time do you watch TV? And in the case of what she says, y lo que dijo Lian, Iliana, only on weekends, ¿ok? Look at that, only on weekends, ¿ok? You say in the morning, in the afternoon, decimos in the morning, in the afternoon, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on weekends, ¿ok? Les usamos in antes de una parte del día, in the morning o in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero cuando vamos a mencionar el día, decimos on, on weekends, on Monday. On Tuesday. El único que cambia es la noche. At night. ¿Ok? We say at night. We don't say in the night. At night. ¿Ok? A menos que usted se refiera de en la noche. Imagine that Cesar gets romantic with his wife. Cesar se pone romántico con su esposa y le dice... Oh, I remember how happy I was in the night I, I met you. Recuerdo cuán feliz estaba en la noche que te conocí. Le dice, in the night I met you. But that's something different, okay? Usually when we refer to the part of the day, we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay, thank you very much. Jenny, please. Oh, you participated already? Ya lo hizo, Jenny? I know. Yes. Or no? Uh, no. Okay, please. Let's do it. Uh, con Ana, trabajé. Okay. Ana. Ask the question to Ana. Ana, what time... Do you go to the supermarket? Uh, 
Ana is here. <laughs> Está ahí. No, she had problems, I guess. Creo que se le congeló a Ana. Ok. Please, ask me, Jenny. A teacher, what time do you go to the supermarket? Oh, I usually go to the supermarket at night because during the day there's a long line. Okay. And I hate that. And I, ¿Qué es lo del final? ¿Qué significa? Nine. I, ¿Qué line. Línea. Uh -huh. Line. Ok. Ok, another question for me, Jenny. Ok. Eh, teacher, what time do you... Uh, what time do you drink coffee? All day long. <laughs> okay. okay, teacher. Another one. Okay. Another question. Otra pregunta. Yes. Uh, teacher, uh, what time do you do you take que nos da la clase de inglés? What time do you teach the class? Do teach. you teach the class? Teach. Okay, I teach the class bit from eight to ten. Okay, eight guys, ten. thank you very much. Uh, Line, row, or this other word means the same. These three words mean the same. Esas tres palabras significan lo mismo. Row, line, Q. Significa entonces row? Línea. Línea, ok. En línea. The last one, listen. Q. Q. Okay. Questions about those words? They mean the same. Okay? Just that the last one is not that common. La última no es muy común. It's very, very formal and old-fashioned. Quizás una persona mayor usaría Q. Q. An old person. People say stand in a line or to get in the row those are more common okay uh, let's see what else can i tell you mm. well about that vocabulary i guess that's it now let's see in the case of caesar he was practicing one of the previous conversations with whom were you caesar okay let's go With Erika. Erika. Okay, let's do it. Please, I want to hear you. Okay. Okay, Erika. Uh, hey, two more. Okay. okay. Number three. Yeah. Uh, okay. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What I does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Okay. Uh, number two. Okay. Uh, let me for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at a quarter a Quarter past eight. 
quarter past 8 a.m. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. That's great, that's great. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. According to what I have, just let me check something. Yes. Perfect. Right now, you're going to do something different, okay? You have one minute. Get something to write on, and I need you to list at least two things you do in the morning with the time and two things you do in the afternoon with the time. Hágame una lista, al menos, de dos cosas que hacen la mañana, dos que hacen la tarde, but with the time, con la hora, okay? Because we are talking about your schedule. You have it? Write it down, hurry up, hurry up, because what I'm going to do is ask you, tell me please two things you do in the morning and you will tell me, okay, at, I don't know, at 9 a.m. I go to meeting. At 2 p.m. I have lunch, okay? So, get your sentences ready. Hagamos esas oraciones. I need two from the morning, two from the afternoon. Necesito dos de cosas que hacen en la mañana, dos de cosas que hacen en la tarde. If you don't have a problem with that, if you have them ready in your mind, that's okay, that's perfect. Si las tiene así listas en su mente, that's great. And whenever you say one sentence, I'm going to write it here in the chat so everybody can see the sentence. Cuando se digan una oración, yo la voy a escribir acá para que todos los demás la puedan ver. Okay, let's see. Jenny, you ready? Hello. Are you ready? Uh, ready. Okay, perfect. Please, Jenny, tell me two things you do in the afternoon. In the afternoon, I check emails at 2.30 p.m. Okay, hold on. I check uh, emails at 2.30 p.m. P.m. Uh, I, drink, I drink coffee at... 40, 15 p.m. At 4.15? At 4.15 p.m. Okay, I drink coffee at 4.15 p.m. Perfect, thank you very much, Jenny. Cesar, okay. please tell me two things you do in the morning. Okay, at 6.30, I take a shower. Okay, at 6.30 a.m.? 6.30 a.m., I take a shower. Okay, perfect. At 8 a.m., I take a coffee in my office. Okay. At 8 a.m., he takes a coffee. In your office? Yes. In my office. Perfect. Just hold on. At 8 a.m. Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see who's going to be next. Jennifer. Hello. Please tell me, Jennifer, tell me one thing you do in the morning and one thing you do in the afternoon. I wake up 5.30 a.m. Okay, okay. I wake up at? I wake up at 5.30 a.m. Okay, and in the afternoon. I I go to the sleep 11 p.m. Okay, at perfect. 11 p.m. Ah, that's better. I go to sleep at 11 p.m. PM. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see. Iliana. Hello, Iliana. So you don't go to sleep para que no se me duerma. Tell me one from the morning, Iliana, one from the afternoon, please. I I get up six a.m. I take a shower six fifteen a.m. 
Okay, okay. I breakfast 7 a.m. Excellent. And in the afternoon, I drink coffee what 4 or 5 p.m. Okay, excellent. I you drink coffee, you tell me at 4 or 5 p.m. Or 5 p.m. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Next, 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 next. Vicente. Vicente is bored right now. So he can get in the mood. Please, Vicente. Hello. One from the morning, one from the afternoon. Okay. I take a cup of coffee at 10 a.m. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold and on. I. You take a cup of coffee at 10 a.m. Perfect. Please, the next one. And I call my clients around 2 or 3 p.m. Excellent. Around 2 or 3 p.m. Now, listen. We, in the case of uh, Vicente, he was very formal. He said, he didn't say, I take a coffee. He said, I take a cup of coffee. He is very specific, very formal. Now, there are differences. Tell me, Vicente, you take a cup of coffee or a mug? A, a mug. Cup, a mug is a little bit bigger, no? Those are yes. cup mugs. Perhaps some of us got in our workplace, algunos tenemos en el trabajo, unas tazas que son un poquito más alta, ¿verdad? Like thermos. Yes. Like thermos. So those are mugs. The word for that is M-U-G-S. Mugs. Okay. Mugs. I yeah. take a mugs of coffee. Okay. No, it's okay. You say, <laughs> I take a cup of coffee. That's the way we say it. Uh, when you are saying it, it doesn't matter. Cuando lo estamos diciendo, lo común es decir, I take a cup of coffee. Just that, if you want to be like, here I'm being specific and I get, tell me, you got a cup or a mug? He says, oh, I take coffee in a mug. Thank you, Vicente, very much. Now let's see, let's see, I still got time for some of you. Andres, did you participate? Ya me participó. Yes, but no, no, no. Okay, please tell me, Andres, one from the morning. That's uh, 6, 60, half uh, am and turn off uh, the radio. Okay. Interesting. You turn on the radio, the radio, the radio, the radio. at 6.30, you say. Yes. Okay. And and uh, night a.m. that uh, but uh, music play music and my place working in my workplace in my workplace. Okay. Remember, you don't say in my place of work. Just we say in my workplace. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I still got time for some of you, but man, not enough time. Okay, now let's make a review. This class is being interesting because we have, we have had a lot of conversation, a lot of asking and answering, and that's the idea. Now, what have we worked with today? Today we have worked with schedules, okay? Mostly with that because the focus for today's class was the daily activities. The daily activities are called the schedule. Now, for tomorrow, we are going to work with prepositions of time. I gave you just a hint of it. Mañana vamos a trabajar con preposiciones de tiempo. Ahora les di como una pequeña idea. I'm sorry for the ones who couldn't participate in this last exercise. Me disculpan los que no me participaron en este ejercicio. I know that Daniel was ready and yo sé que Daniel estaba ready igual que Erika and Carlos. I'm sorry, but the time is 
running out. El tiempo se nos está acabando. Eh, tomorrow, as I tell you, we're going to work with prepositions of time. Okay? In, on, at. We are going to make exercises with that so we can improve. De esa manera vamos a mejorar. The idea is that at the end you will present your whole schedule like normal. Like if your boss comes and tells you, okay, tell me what are your activities for tomorrow. You can say all the activities in order, correctly, setting up the time in the most proper form. So, uh, hi, Marcos. Marcos looks tired. Se ve cansado. Okay. Eh, thank you very much. Tengo algunos programados para más tardecito en la otra sesión. I will be waiting for you. Si hay alguna duda, ahí voy a estar esperando. If not, okay. Si no, igual. Eh, if somebody needs uh, extra, tengo tiempo de 10.50 a 11. If somebody needs me, I will be there, okay? If not, text me. Si alguien está interesado en un tiempito extra, me, me escriben and we will see if I got the time, okay? Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Be ready. Thank be on you. time. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.